Today we got four new MagSafe items from Spigen. We got two cases and two wallets. For the cases, we got the Ultra Hybrid and the Tough Armor, which is really similar to the non-MagSafe counterparts. On the Spigen cases, the outlines for the magnets are black, which is something I would prefer over the white ones on Apple's. I think the black just looks better with the darker color iPhones and vice versa with the white. I think the white one will look better with the mint green. The back on the Ultra Hybrid is plastic with the sides being TPU, so I'm gonna guess that the sides will start to yellow earlier than on the back. On a tough armor, you still got that bulky nice build. It feels great in your hands and it has a nice grip so it doesn't feel like it's gonna slip. One difference I noticed from the regular version is it doesn't have a kickstand. So that's something to think about if you really need it. The buttons are easy to press, but on the tough armor, it's a bit harder just because you do have to push in a bit more because of the thicker material. So these are massive cases and how well do they stack up against the original Apple cases? The strength of it is pretty much identical. I would say the speaking ones are just slightly just slightly weaker, but it's not something you would notice in, unless you're really comparing it side by side. When you're using MagSafe accessories, they more or less feel the same, so they wouldn't really affect your daily life. Next up are the wallets. Both of them feel really nice in the hands and they don't feel cheap at all. We got one that looks really similar to Apple's, but with Spigen's logo on the front. And then we have one with the front flap, which basically is a kickstand. So it does have this like, trifold mechanism and that kind of just snaps in with magnets so i would prefer this one just because it is a double feature of a wallet and a kickstand with all the pros and cons with apple's wallet case it's pretty much the same thing with spigens they do detach if you're not careful or you just push it a little bit especially on the bigger iphones basically the functionality is the same as apple's so if you already have one i don't really see a big reason why to grab these but if you are looking for one or more budget friendly one then you should look into these. On a box that says you can fit up to two cards, technically you can fit up to three, it's just gonna be a bit tighter. Unless you have one of those flimsy cards, then that should work totally fine. Using these wallets are a bit hard to get the cards out. Technically, you would have to pry them out with your fingernails. You can use your thumb to push it out, but one thing I noticed that if you do wanna get the back card, then you would have to take both out, push one in, and then you can grab it. So efficiently, it's really hard but it is more convenient since it's right next to your phone. But these wallets are secure. Even if you have one card in there, nothing's gonna fall out. Will these wallets replace your main wallet? Honestly, I don't think so, especially if you're the type of person that uses multiple credit cards and you use a lot of other cards, then clearly no. Unless you're the type of person that uses a few cards, they're most likely gonna have their ID and one of their credit cards in there, then sure, it'll work. If you're looking for more of a budget alternative, then I would highly recommend these speaking cases and wallets because Apple ones are pretty expensive. They still offer that same MagSafe experience, so you're really not missing out. So those are the new MagSafe accessories from Spigen. If you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget you can find me on Instagram. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.